Yo, 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 what's good, boys? It's Chaos here, bringing you guys another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys why you should not be in the Pats book if you love to run Gun Bunch. Um, if you like to run Gun Bunch, you should be in Tampa Bay Bucks uh, playbook. They have Bucks sale, just like Pats sale. But they have two plays that are really, really, really good that aren't in the Pats playbook. Now, the first one that I really want to talk about is Clear Out SE Out. Um, it's a very, very, very good play. And uh, I'm going to show you guys how to utilize it without um, route cams, though in regs. And then I'll talk about a bit just how to utilize it with route cams um, and like how you can do a better job with that as well. Um, but uh, obviously, I can show you because I'm in practice mode. And then the other play is Bunch Trail. Um, the Pats book lacks one big thing, and they don't have a deep post on the left side. Um, if you look through their playbook, to split it like to split a cover two, they have nothing other than like seam streaks. They don't have like a bunch of trail or wide receiver post where they have this deep post here. So it's something that they're missing. So those are two plays that are really, really important that I think will help you guys in bunch. And you guys should be making the switch over to Tampa Bay Bucks ASAP. Now let's jump into this video. Okay, guys, real quick, sorry. Before I start the video, I wanted to mention that I talk about the route cams at the end of the video. So if you're someone that you want to use route specialist. Um, with the SE clear out, make sure you guys wait around for that. Now, if you're in regs, after I go over bunch trail, you can cut it. You don't need to see the rest because you're not going to use these route specialists. I just wanted to say that. And I wanted to say thank you to you guys for hitting the like button on all my videos so, uh, so recently, man. I really appreciate you guys doing that. You guys have been killing it. I just want to ask that you guys would continue to do so. I really appreciate you guys. It really helps me out and it helps me to continue to bring you guys content that you guys can get better with man so i hope you guys can, will continue to do that i really appreciate you for it and as always my ebooks are in the description if you guys are interested in getting better at the game it's on trips tight in big nickel over g and 335 odd updates coming within a week or two uh, i'll keep you guys updated on that but jump into the video i hope you guys enjoy okay man so first one i'm gonna talk about is uh clear out se out uh that's pretty sure that's his name so a couple different setups from it i'll show you them so this post route is very, very good from the tight end. Um, it's something that all the top bunch players are using right now. Um, and you guys should be utilizing it too. So the only thing that's going to guard this, if there's no fade on the field, so just pretend X is not on a fade right now. The only thing that's going to guard that is a deep quarter. So if they're not deep quartering, you don't need that fade from Watkins. Now, if they are deep quartering, you can just leave the fade. So for the base setup, I'm going to show you guys with the fade. So just imagine that they are deep quartering that outside guy. Here's the setup. You're going to drag the top of the bunch. And I'm going to hitch Conley. Um, you can hitch him uh, or curl him. Whichever one you want for extra yards. Up to you guys. I like to do the hitch just, just in case they blitz. It's a quick hot read. So show you guys the reads here. Um, first. So the first read is always going to be Kelsey. Well, sorry. Let me, let me refrain from that. The first... The, the first read is always going to be your hot reads, which is like the drags and hitches. But your main route is going to be Kelsey. Let me put it that way. So if you're getting hollered at, so like say they're blitzing, right? Let me just show you guys that you guys can make quick hot reads. Um, so say they blitz the nickel corner, and maybe they blitz here. So they just had their user right here. This is their user. You have the drag, whichever one they don't take the drag, and the hitch, right? So those are two quick hot reads for you. And then... Um, Say so they take away the hitch, so set up the blitz again here, here. Now this is their user again. I'm gonna man up the hitch just so you guys can see. I'm throwing the drag. Um, so he goes to the hitch, you take your quick drag, and you keep moving up the field. So those are your hot reads. I like to get those out the way. Um, and now I'll show you guys the post. So we already showed you guys the post, how it gets over the cloud. I'll show you guys that one more time. Um, and uh, then we'll talk about some other reads. So. It does take a little bit developing, but the only thing that really guards it for even a little bit is the mid-read. So I'm going to go to the replays for that. Um, and they're going to be user in the mid-read most of the time. Um, so watch here. Kelsey's on his post. The only thing guarding him is this mid-read right here. If this mid-read is not here, just imagine. So say they took him off and they're usering him, right? And they're usering this drag or this hitch or just imagine they blitzed this vert hook and they had to use this just themselves. Just anything like that. Anything that you can imagine. Um just this mid-read not being here. Um, you can throw this post at any point now, right? Any point, any point, any point. I'll show you guys, it's actually really quick that how fast you can throw it if they don't do that. However, if they do keep their mid-read, you can see it still gets over it. Nothing's gonna guard it. Um, 
and you're gonna have a wide open pass. Now, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna blitz this mid read just to show you guys how quickly you can throw it if there is no uh, mid read there. So quickly set that up, and right on the break, you can see that post fits in very very nicely. So you have that. That's the first setup, right? And obviously, I showed you guys I showed you guys that it gets over the cloud. Let me now let me just show you with the deep third and the deep quarter. Um, I guess I'll put this guy in the flat just so you wouldn't take the drag, whatever. But I'll show you guys that the fade's going to push back the deep quarter. It's pretty obvious um, that it's going to do that, and you can still fit it in. So I don't need to show you guys that too many times. No reason to beat a dead horse here on that. Um, now, if they aren't deep quartering like that, right, here's the other setup that I also really like. Um, I like to drag walk-ins, and then you can do what you want with Conley. I like to motion them out, and I, put them on a, I usually put them on a curl, or you can leave them on the curl here up to you guys or motion them out on a comeback or a curl so your guys's call so you can either do this you can do this or you do this but i personally if they're going to do the motion out curl or comeback i wouldn't do it on uh i wouldn't let them set so i'd hike it like this so this is what i would do like right about here and there you go or you can do the motion out comeback which is nice too Either way, doing the same thing, you're just creating a fly concept. You can't put them on the comeback though until you motion them out. So he goes on a flat unless you motion them out. So once you motion them out, come back, and then you can hike it. Now you might have to let them set for the comeback just because um, you probably can't do it in time since you have to wait. But if you do the curl, you can do it before. But up to you guys. Um, so if you let them set here on the comeback, I showed you guys that the post is still getting open. No, let me just show them in the replay. Kind of bypass that, uh, but you don't have the you don't have the fade here. The deep the the post still gets underneath the deep half. Very 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 good spot. So still fits in right there. Now I'll show you guys the deep third, just to show you guys will get underneath that as well. Even if they um, don't have a fade, so deep third. And uh, just imagine, I guess they manned up X, just so they wouldn't get beat deep on a streak or something. Uh, that's they wouldn't take that deep blue off. But I just want to show you guys that this post will still get underneath. Bam, there you go. So, very, very good post. I even moved down the deep third. Um, and then I'll show you guys on the back side what you can do with the with these flood concepts. So, you have that. Um, let me just shade down. So, they're playing hard flats, right? And you have a comeback out there. Yeah, of course I get sacked. <laughs> you all saw the comeback. I'll show you guys it again, though. Um, let me paste the line here. So shade down, so you guys can see that the comeback's gonna get open. There you go. So I mean, you I mean you could do you could do tons of things with this man. Um, my two base setups. I'll just show you guys it one more time. Drag hill. Hitch or curl Conley, one or the other, and that's if they're deep quartering. But if you don't, if they're not deep quartering, you can drag, flat, and curl Conley like this. Perfect. This is probably I, I like to do it without the motion. If you want to do the motion, you can motion all the way out, or you can come back them. Any of those things will work. Um, but that's it for SE clear out option, man. Now we're gonna jump into bunch trail. Uh, bunch trail, I personally think is a really really good play. It's not something you're gonna go to every single time. It's not like a like an unguardable play or anything like that, but it's just a really good solid play that you can work with. So there's two ways to set it up. So if you want a max pro, this is what I would probably do. If you want a max pro, I'd hitch Conley. That's it. That's the only hot route you gotta make. If you don't want a max pro, then you would drag Kelsey here or in route Kelsey, one or the other. Um, I'd probably drag him personally, but that's up to you guys. Um, so what's great about this play is if they're in cover two, right? Watch this post kind of split it. Now this is Watkins, it's not even Hill, so it's not even the best player in the world or anything like that. It's not 99 speed. He's gonna split the deep halves down the middle and get a huge gain, if not a touchdown. So, see right there? Yeah, so, and that's like 93 speed Watkins. It's not like he's out of this world fast. I'll show you guys it one more time. Um, it's a very, very, very good route. Something that Pats just does not offer you at all. Um, 
There you go, right down the middle. This time I didn't get a touchdown unless I spun him out, but you guys can see huge potential for huge gain there. Now, if they are in cover three, it's not going to be a touchdown, obviously, but you still can throw it sometimes. Um, I wouldn't throw it if they if they leave their deep third out there. So if they if they're in cover three and they leave their deep third, it's going to match. So I probably wouldn't throw it. But anyone that's pressing like this, it's going to deep quarter. Um, and uh, this hook curl is going to play it, so I'm going to get rid of this hook curl. So I'll, I'll leave it just to see that you guys will play it. But then if they get rid of it, I'll show you that you can still throw it based on their shading. Now, I shaded down, so I might not play it here because I have the drag. But if you don't have the drag, it has nothing to play if you shade it down, so it would go back. So we'll just kind of go through all those scenarios. See the hook curl comes down there, and you can kind of fit in that little pocket right there. Now, it's not a touchdown, but it's still a big game. Now, if they're in cover three and they shade up, it's going to play it a little bit better. So I shaded over top this time, and you guys are going to see that it's going to play a little bit better, um, but not much better. But yeah, so you can see, very, very good post route. Patch does not give that to you. Um, now, back to other reads versus cover two here. So say they have cloud flops out there, and they middle linebacker deep blue, right? Say they do that. Something that you could do is throw this drag late, like a flood concept. And I'll show you guys that on the replay, why that works. Because if they have cloud flats out there, it's going to follow the post. So he follows the post here. He's going back. And that's what leaves your drag open for a free 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 yards. You see we gained 9 right there. So uh, very good options there. And uh, next thing here, so the flood concept on the right, right? essentially so if they play hard flats i gonna show you guys this corner route is gonna get over now if they do a verdict there it is gonna bump your corner route which is annoying but it doesn't really matter if they play hard flats it gets over um and that was just an awful awful animation i'll try to show it to you again cover two with hard flats and you can see right there wide open gets over the hard flat um now if they play clouds and they send their vert hook so if the vert hook's going to play this hitch if it's there i don't even have to show you that it's just going to play it so if i blitz it here uh it's a quick hot read on this hitch and now if they do leave the vert hook there which i'll show you next um you can playmaker it so i'm gonna playmaker it to the left Oh, and I messed that up. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> Don't even trip on that. That's my fault. I messed with the playmaker. My bad. Uh, so yeah, so you can playmaker this guy. I'll try to show you it one more time. Um, playmaker on left. And go pick up a few. So that's just something you guys can do. Um, like I said, man, there's a lot of different ways to run this. But it's really, really, really good against cover two. It's a touchdown for you if they don't put anybody in the deep middle deep third. Um, it has hot reads for you. So if you don't, if you want a max pro, you'll be able to pick up the blitz, and then you just pick your pick your route you want to throw, hitch, corner, post. If they do blitz you and you want to send your four out, you have hot reads in the hitch and the drag. Um, and the post isn't honestly like the most late developing thing either. You can throw it on its break. So there's lots of different ways to run this. Um, but the best thing that it brings to the table really is the one play touchdown. So uh, I'll just show you that one more time, just for good measure. And uh, then now after this play, guys, we're gonna talk about really quickly, whatever, man. <laughs> um, the, uh, the, what you can do with SE clear out with route cams. Um, so I just wanted to bring that to you guys' attention and let you guys see the different things that you could do with it. Um, I can't show it to you personally, but I can talk about it and kind of make you envision the different things you could do with it. So, um, let's jump back into that really quickly. No reason to cut. Um, I know you guys can hear the siren probably. If you guys aren't new to the channel, if you guys are new to the channel, you guys are just going to know I live in Baltimore. Sirens all day. If you aren't new, you're used to it by now. So, uh, real quick, real quick and easy. I'll, uh, I'll talk about real quick different things with route camp. So, I talked about if they didn't deep quarter on the outside, um, that post would get open no matter what. So if they don't deep quarter, this is a route, 
uh, that you can do. Instead of uh, instead of doing the flat curl on the left, you could do a flat from Conley and a corner route from Hill, right? Kind of like uh, you have a corner route with a flat on the right and the drag coming late, and then with the post. Or what you could do is flat Hill and put, so I'm just gonna do out routes. Just imagine these are corner routes from route specialist. Um, you could do it this way, or you could do it this way. Either way you wanted to do it, up to you guys. But that's just another option that you guys could do with this play, um, with the route cams. Um, something else you could do is if you fade this guy. So if you ha if he's using the deep court, you have to fade walk-ins. Now you just have the post fade with the corner route, and then you can pick whichever one gets the corner route. Uh, that's something else you could do. Um, let me think. What else could you do here? Um, I know. So if I reset it here, if you leave this hitch, you could um, you could honestly just corner route Conley here. So just imagine this being a corner route, and then kind of leave the stick the stick route because if he gets manned up, then he goes on his out route, and he'll get underneath the cloud for you. Let me smart route just get out of the way. So if RB is manned up, he'll go on his out route, and he'll get open against the cloud for you. Or he'll just sit in that little hitch spot um, and kind of get open for you. So right there, kind of like a hitch for you. So you can do that. That's something you could do. Just different, lots of different variations. I obviously can't show it to you right now, but if you guys have route cams, go mess around with it. But this play is very, very good with route cams. Um, it's great without it, but it's even better with it. So hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, and take it easy. Peace.